This is an easy question. I will classify the question as a sub 600 level GMAT data sufficiency question in number properties. Concept tested properties of odd and even integers is what is tested. What do we know? x and y are positive integers. If x and y are positive integers, we need to determine whether y is an odd integer. Two statements given. Let us take a look at it. Now, while we know the five answer options, come back to the question. Is y odd the question? We know x and y are positive integers. So, y is a positive integer. We need to determine whether it is an odd integer. Answer to an is question is going to be yes or no. Data is sufficient when we have a definite yes or a definite no. So, you know the ground rules about solving this question. Take a look at statement 1 and 1 alone. 1 alone states that x is odd. The question is about y. We do not know anything about y. Knowing something about x is not sufficient. The statement very quickly in less than 5 seconds we can say is irrelevant to answering this question. Statement 1 is not sufficient. Let us rule out the two answer options that go when statement 1 is sufficient which is a and d which are a and d. If statement 2 alone is sufficient, let us go with a b. If that is also not sufficient, let us combine and determine whether the answer is c or b. Take a look at statement 2. This is a beautiful statement x y is odd, we know x and y are positive integers, we need to determine whether y is odd. Product of two positive integers is odd, let us say this is equal to odd, only when both those integers are odd, x should be odd, so should y. So, if x and y are positive integers and the product of both those integers is odd, that is possible only when y is odd as much as x should also be odd. Do we have a conclusive answer about whether y is odd? Yes. From statement 2, we are able to answer conclusively that y is odd. The trap in this question is, what we will say is, hey, I know something about x, y here. I do not know anything to determine y uniquely is what we will think. And then we will plug in information from statement 1 and say 1 says x is odd, 2 says x into y is odd. Therefore, y is odd is how we will determine and mark C as the answer. That is a trap in this question. The point is, if x and y are positive integers, the product can be odd only when both those numbers are odd, which points to the fact that with statement 2 alone, without taking any help from statement 1, we can determine y is odd. 2 alone is sufficient. Choice B is the answer. So, it mentioned C is the trap in this question. That is what makes this question closer to a 600 level question. Otherwise, it is a much easier question.